What's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to slice your Photoshop template and how to save it for web and devices. So let's get right into it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and subscribe. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the template, which I already have open, and get the slice tool. You don't need these guidelines like I have, these blue lines going across my um, template. These were just when I was putting and uh, changing around this template. So you don't really need those. But for the slice tool, it's very simple to use. And what this does is it cuts the Im this one big Photoshop template into smaller images that will be in the right place on this template. So to use this, you just click and drag so you just click if you want a slice this big you just click and drag it that big if you want it smaller to fit where you want it to be just make it that size so now I'm going to click again and just drag it, drag, drag it over so that's slice number two click and drag for slice number three and that's my left side sidebar I'm going to do the slice for my main content click and drag over all the way down to my little divider that's slice number four and my final slice I will be doing in this video number five now next you will want to name these slices to name the slices go back over to your slice tool click on select slice select tool now double click on your slices now you can name them I'm gonna name mine which side they're on and what they're for so this one is Twitter underscore one foot left and then I'm gonna put um yeah that's it I don't need anything else so this one's just gonna name it blog just to get this over fast okay and then the next one news alright now I'm gonna double click on the other side which is the right side and that's my main content so I'm gonna put MC underscore R underscore one so main content on the right and that's main content number one and MC underscore R underscore two that's my main content number two so now we're gonna save it go to file save for web and devices set that as JPEG I'm gonna set the quality down a little bit to 50 so it won't take that long to export JPEG medium optimize and save and we already have something right there so I'm gonna hit save again replace everything alright it's saved now I'm gonna go over to Coda which I have the code pulled up in already and put preview now I'm gonna look at the slices we just made you see this right here it's not actually attached to the entire background it's its own image 